we're here with Jim Williams, who's a member of the Analytics Maturity Model Committee. And Jim, this is something brand new. What's it all about? Well, this is a uh, initiative that's been going on for the better part of a year. Uh, Norm Ryder from uh, Sengineering has been steering a great team toward providing organizations a self-assessment tool that they can use to mark their progress along the journey of, of uh, delivering the most value possible from applying an analytics to hard problems. And how does that model help companies assess their analytics maturity? Everybody has a lens on life. And, and so you are where you think you are. And your eyes and ears tell you one thing. Oftentimes a, a device or an instrument like a scorecard can complement that and uh, give you a sense of, oh, maybe we have some room to grow, to stretch our legs a little bit and, uh, and deliver further value possible. And so that's, that's one of the uh, opportunities that we can present to the INFORMS membership is an ability to do that and then understand what are the implications and the, and the opportunities to move further along that path. So what are some of the major themes on that assessment? Well, as you might expect, there are the, the typical uh, areas like quality of data available, uh, how good is it, how easily can they access it, what are our analytics modeling skills, what kinds of tools do we have available, and you know, all that would be pretty uh, well expected. But we also extend reach of the instrument to look at uh, the organization as well. So how connected are the analysts to the decision makers? Uh, what's the culture of the organization? Uh, what's the readiness to absorb the, all the power that analytics can provide? So we, we try to cover the waterfront and, uh, and provide a nice cross-sectional view of uh, where an organization is at and what possibilities lie forward. And what about the follow-up? There's a follow-up to the assessment as well. There is, you know, because it's, it's set up to be a self-assessment tool. You know, everybody's on their own recognizance to uh, determine what they do with the information. It's just like any other set of information that they analyze. Uh, so in this case, the, the connection is with Informs. Uh, what set of products and services are available and relevant to your position on this maturity curve moving forward? So it, it can help organizations that are relatively uh, early on the path as well as the, the uh, tried and true veterans that have been at it for 30 years. So the, uh, the thought is, you know, we have great things like the conference here, the, the set of uh, awesome journals that INFORMS offers, as well as some emerging capabilities like certification and uh, continuing education that are just in the early development phases now. So the idea is to connect the position that you place yourself on as an organization with the self-assessment instrument with the products and services that would help you move forward. And when will this be available to the public? Well, we're, uh, we are in a validation phase right now. So we had early development over the past year. Now we're validating with a set of, we've gone through a, an early validation step with, uh, I think a group of about 60 participants and gotten some great feedback and we're gonna revise the, the uh, instrument and so on to reflect that. We are also conducting two sessions at the conference here to uh, showcase a little bit more of it in its in-process state to let people uh, offer some feedback here as well. So we're heading toward, oh, I would say early to mid next year. Very good. Where, where we can make it available. All right, Jim Williams, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for the visit.